All right, girls, we're gonna get started. Okay. So this is the IUD going in. Okay, let's do it. Big deep breath. Good morning, my loves. Um, I am not sure if this is gonna be the intro, but welcome if it is. Give this video a thumbs up because this is gonna be a video that'll go down in history. No, just kidding, I'm being dramatic. Um, I've been freaking out, not gonna lie to your face. I think that me posting, whoop, let's rewind. First and foremost, I am not a doctor. I am not medical. I am literally just gonna be sharing my experience as a patient. So um, please take nothing I say in this video as medical advice. Uh, if you have any questions about your vagina, your vulva, your cervix, please go see your gynecologist. So I made a grave, grave error yesterday. And I asked you guys, no, I didn't ask. I just told you on my Instagram stories that I was going to get an IUD. And like, should I vlog it? And it literally, I opened my DMs and it was just like the floodgates. And everyone was just like, just so you know, you're gonna feel like you're having a baby. Just so you know, it's gonna be excruciating pain. Just so you know, I passed out. Just so you know, and I'm not mad at all at everyone's reactions. Like. I feel like that's what you do as a friend to your friends. Like, hey, just so you know, this was my experience, but yours might be different. But for me, opening up my DMs about something I'm terrified about and seeing hundreds of messages. And last night I was just so anxious, like on the verge of like a panic attack. I've had two panic attacks in my life and I don't take that lightly. Um, honestly, I do feel like the fear of getting this IUD is going to be stronger, more fear, more pain than the actual procedure. Um, I think the anxiety is the worst part for me. So anywho, I'm about to go. I took a pill last night that dilated my cervix. I basically, <laughs> I basically just woke up feeling like I started my period. I just feel very like crampy, bloated. This whole video we're gonna be talking about bodily functions and fluids, so. There is no TMI in this video. You signed up for it. Um, Mochi, get away from the camera, Multimo. I've been very gassy. It's just been one of those mornings. So <sighs> took the cervix dilator to hopefully help have it not be as painful and took 800 milligrams of ibuprofen prescribed by my doctor. And now Daniel's about to drive me to the appointment because I had a friend recommend that I have someone drive me in case I'm really uncomfortable driving home or feeling lightheaded. So. And this little guy, well, this big guy popped up today and I'm really just not excited about it, but that's fine. Here we are. Let's add to the day. Okay. <sighs> I'm sorry that this video is going to be a little bit different. I won't be quite as bubbly and cheery as I normally am because I'm genuinely just anxious. And this is just real, you know, but it's going to be good. It's going to be great. I'm going to pray right before I go in that my cervix is wide open and ready to go. And um, and I'm probably gonna sing in there. That's kind of my plan. I think my plan is to sing and just take me to a happier place. We got this girl, we got this. Okay, let's get this. I am strong, I am woman, I am female, I give birth, I get a period every month, I got this. All right, gal pals, we're in the gyno. Let's get this. Let's just be done. I'm ready to be done. The anticipation is what is killing me. So first things first, it's gonna start off just like a pelvic exam. Okay. All right, so you're gonna pull three swabs here. It's kind of wet and dirty. Here's number one, number two. Okay. We're gonna kind of want that chill for a second and clean really well. Okay. And then we'll get started. How's she looking? Is she looking wide open? She's looking, she's looking good. She's not looking good, is she? No, she is. Actually, she's dilated. I'm You're praying, I, I prayed that she would be wide open. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. No, I, I, awesome. I was in my Bible study last night and I, I prayed, I prayed this out and yeah. I said, dear God. Put it into the world, put it into the existence. Let this cervix be so wide open. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely open. All right, girls, we're gonna get started. Okay. So, little pinchy cramp here. Okay. So I want you to breathe for okay. me, try not to clench your butt. Oh, yep, yep. okay. All right, next one's gonna be a little bit deeper of a cramp, okay? Oh, so it's kiddo. gonna be a little deeper up in the pelvis, okay? So just breathe okay. for me. 
Ooh, it's yeah. perfectly dilated. Okay. So that part's done. You got one more big cramp to get through. This is the IUD going in. Okay, let's do it. Big deep breath. Ooh. Huh? That's it. It's in. It's in. It's in. So breathe. I'm gonna put the screen real quick. And then we're done. My stomach feels weird. Yeah, it, and it should feel like a lot of pressure, almost like you have to poop. Oh yeah? And it could be on one side or the other, that's normal too. Um, it's done. It's done, it's in there. Oh, ahead. praise Jesus, how old are you? I am back home, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm just so, I'm just so relieved it's over. Like I can't even express how relieved I am. So much to talk about. Okay, so, and sorry I'm like, keeled over on my couch with a heated blanket <laughs> but we'll get to that okay so the procedure itself for me personally and my gynecologist has said that it's so completely different for everyone because everyone has different cervixes everyone has different things going on down there everyone has different pain thrushes tolerances all that it just wasn't that bad for me honestly like i think I had built it up in my head to the most horrific pain I anyone could ever experience. So then when it finally happened, I was like, okay, this, this isn't that bad. I think I honestly had just built it up so much in my head, the anxiety, the fears, the just waiting for it to happen. And it really just wasn't as bad as I was expecting, honestly. I mean, it was uncomfortable. It basically just felt like really bad cramps. I closed my eyes during it. Um, and I was just kind of like this, like, okay, 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 you know, you heard me. She was so quick, she was so fast, she did such a good job, she's the best. Afterwards, I just felt pretty bad cramps, and for me personally, I know everyone is so different with their periods, I do have a very heavy period in terms of like, there's just a lot of blood, so I'm constantly changing my tampon, but I don't ever experience and have never experienced like debilitating cramps or things like that. So I've never really understood when girls are like, oh, my cramps are so bad that I can't go to work today. Like I can't move today. I've never understood that until now. Definitely feels like there's a bowling ball just sitting on my stomach. It feels like I have to poop. It's just weird. Uh, because it's something I've never experienced quite frankly or, or at least not to this level So I'm pretty much just gonna be chilling on the couch the rest of the day and just taking it as I go my mom's gonna bring me some lunch because she loves me so much and Then I will take some more ibuprofen after I get some food in me My gynecologist did not personally recommend that I have someone drive me home but I'm really glad that I did have Daniel drive me home I think that I would have been fine making it home, but it, it, it was an uncomfortable walk to the car and I just, it was just nice to have him drop me off at the front of our building and not have to take the stairs. And it just, I would personally recommend you have someone pick you up. It's just a nice, it's a nice thing if you're if you're able to. It is a couple weeks later after getting the IUD and I just wanna give you some updates. I am feeling so much better than I was. <laughs> the day that I filmed that video. It is about two weeks later after getting the Kylina IUD and I feel completely normal, back to myself. You know, there were some possible side effects in terms of hormonal changes that can lead to acne, mood swings, all that jazz. Um, I have a couple breakouts right above my lip, which is typically where I break out hormonally. It's very possible that that is because of the IUD. Um, but I am also acne prone, so I don't think I've experienced like a ton of acne or anything like that. I think my body's definitely adjusting to all the hormones, but nothing crazy or out of the ordinary. And I definitely haven't noticed any differences in terms of mood swings. So overall, honest to goodness, for me, not having to take birth control and set an alarm on my phone to take birth control every single day at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, like, is such a blessing like I, <laughs> I i i 
I cannot tell you what a relief I feel to not have to take another birth control pill for at least five years. That's how long the Kylina uh, will protect me from getting pregnant. And just for those of you who are aware and kind of want to understand the science behind it, because I did ask my doctor, I wanted to understand like how exactly it works. And you can definitely like do your own research on this. So how my gynecologist explained the Kylina IUD specifically, there are a lot of different ones. I know the copper one works a little bit differently. Um, with the one I got, it basically never allows the egg and sperm to meet. I do know that they all work very differently, so you would have to ask your gynecologist how they all work. But for the one that I have specifically, the sperm and the egg never, never come together. Um, so that's kind of the science of how it works. But I do know that the copper one is different. So just be aware and, you know, look into the science of your IUD in particular that your gynecologist has recommended to you. Most of my friends either have the Marina or the Kylina. I'm not really sure why my gynecologist suggested the Kylina over the Marina, but I'm glad she did because I have experienced no side effects, never have to take a pill again, and I'm just ecstatic. I feel so grateful, so thankful, and I mean, this is definitely going to be my new form of birth, birth control. Something else about this specific IUD that I really love is that it is a hormonal IUD, but the hormones don't have to go be processed through my liver, go through my body, all that jazz. They're just all up in my uterus. Whereas with the pill, you know, I would have to digest the pill, have my my liver process the birth control. There's just a lot less going on all up here and it's more so just all below my waist and in my uterus. So, so I've got a lot less work from the liver going on here. If you are considering getting an IUD, I think that you should definitely go talk to your gynecologist about it, talk to your friends about it, do some research on the internet, be aware that there will be, of course, some horror stories with whatever you look up on the internet. So take everything you read with a grain of salt, but at the end of the day, trust your gynecologist and talk to them. I would love for people to share down below your experience with whatever your birth control is. If you wanna say, you know, I hated the Kylina, it was horrible for me or you know birth control was it for me i love birth control or i hate birth control it made me hormonally not feel great and imbalanced like whatever your experience is i would really really love if you would share that down below i think it would just be really really helpful even if it's not much of a crazy story or anything just to let people know like oh Janelle FE birth control really worked well for this one girl or whatever. And one other thing I wanted to briefly mention with the Kylina is that my gynecologist said that for the first six months, um, it's very possible that I would have spotting. It's possible that like I might have some mood swings. It's possible that, um, you know, might hate it and I could take it out after six months. But she did tell me to take this six months to really give it a shot. But your girl feels amazing and I'm just so grateful. Um, I haven't had any spotting no abnormal periods like I did have with birth control a lot. You guys have already watched those videos. You already know. Um, but yeah, so overall, it's just been a really good experience for me. But I do understand and recognize that this is not the path for everyone. So please, 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 as always, this is a safe place. I will be deleting any negative comments, any anything. It's just a place where you can ask questions and feel comfortable and be sure that you are protecting yourself Um if you are not looking to get pregnant at this point in time. So give this video a thumbs up because I did it. <laughs> the relief of being over is just, I feel like I could have a dance party. All right, I love you guys. And uh, until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.